Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Two Eras Unboxes. I am your host, Two Eras. Today we are going to unbox my very first ever pro wrestling crate. I know pro wrestling crate's been around for a long time. Uh, and honestly, there's been a couple of items that I've wanted to pick up for a long time. But I just, you know, didn't really want to pay eBay prices. Uh, a couple of things that come to mind are the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast Back to the Future shirt and poster. Uh, there was a Grado autograph that I did pick up. <laughs> uh, big fan if you're watching Grado. And, you know, just uh, been interested for a long time, but just never... What caught me this time was... Matt Cardona, who was recently released by the WWE, is getting his very first micro brawler. Uh, they actually decided to release a best sellers. So whoever is selling good, like top sellers on Pro Wrestling Tees, they made a box for Pro Wrestling Crate. Uh, so it's exciting. I, I was really interested to see what they were going to do with it. Matt Cardona posted a picture of the micro brawler, so it's him and his uh, Stomp in Paradise attire. Brian Myers is going to be the next, I guess, uh, micro brawler in in the in the upcoming Pro Wrestling Crate. But this one was Mike Cardona. Filled out immediately. I actually ended up having to wait two days or three days or something like that to try to catch it on a restock. Like I said, never have subscribed before. This is the very first time. I'm obviously excited and really looking forward to seeing what's in this box so much so i was gonna do it on my stream on twitch but i decided you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna make a youtube video this is gonna be fun so welcome welcome to my youtube this is gonna be my very first unboxing so please forgive me if i say any ums or blab or blabble random crap uh, <laughs> this is a one-time go well not a one-time go i actually have two unboxings that i'm gonna do the next couple of weeks but today's Unboxing number one. So, welcome. Uh, so, Best Sellers is crazy because Pro Wrestling Tees has a lot of the top WWE superstars. Uh, you have legends like Eddie Guerrero, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Mick Foley. I mean, that list, the Iron Sheik, Brett the Hitman Hart, like Owen Hart. That, that, that one is what a get. For pro wrestling tees and awesome job uh you know i know it must be hard for martha hart to you know whew, I, I don't even like words can't explain but i was such a huge mark for owen hart when i was a kid uh, he had a huge you know impact being a younger child uh you know he resonated with a lot of people i would assume uh he definitely was a great character I mean, even when I was a kid, I understood that, you know, I, I liked heels. I love Bobby the Brain Heenan. I loved Owen Hart, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts when he was a heel. Uh, those are the types of wrestlers that, that I loved. Um, Hulk Hogan, when he turned heel, uh, was, <laughs> that was so crazy and cool. Uh, that, that, those are, you know, 94, 95 Owen Hart was insane. So, to get that, it's crazy. Uh, it's, so best sellers, it's it's amazing uh what Matt Cardona's done with you know the major him and Brian Myers, uh may I add, and, and Mark Sterling and, and everybody they have uh on that. I guess I don't even know <laughs> that that entire podcast is so crazy. I, I I was there for the very first podcast, like to listen to it obviously. I, I, I heard the very first podcast. Uh, it's so different if you think about it now and how far it's you know come. And the wrestling figure community has become so big just because, you know, Broski and, and his friend, uh, his friends, not just one friend, not just Brian Myers, um, talking about Hornswoggle or Swoggle, uh, you know, Keith Slater, all these guys came together uh, at, with within time, obviously. It was just Brian Myers and Matt Cardona and a couple of other guys in the beginning, but They've created this entire community of wrestling figure fans, basically, uh, and has spun off into other communities. Outstanding job. The podcast is amazing. 
I'm so proud of you guys uh, for, you know, I mean, this collection behind me is no coincidence. Uh, I didn't have a lot of this stuff. And now I have a lot, a lot thanks to you guys. Uh, I wasn't really a Mattel collector. I was more of a Funko Pop collector, obviously, for a long time. Uh, I, I had a couple of WWE action figures, but not near the level that I have now. So, anyways, without further ado, we are going to do the unboxing of the Pro Wrestling Crate uh, for May 2020. So, I don't want to show my address. I don't want to get docs, kids. First one um, that I've ever gotten. So, we'll see how good it is. And like I said, you can catch me on uh, twitch.tv forward slash two eras. That's two E R A Z. I stream Fridays through Sundays, 4 p.m. Central to 7 to 8. Let's, just, let's put it that way. It, it, it can vary on the ending. Uh, and I am a variety streamer. Right now, I'm working on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, I've played some Valorant recently. I started Animal Crossing. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, hey man, come come by, uh, take a take a watch. Uh, this is obviously pretty exciting for me. So we'll look at the shirts afterwards. And I really desperately need new wrestling shirts. The two wrestling shirts, or the couple of wrestling shirts that I that are coming in this obviously are going to be so important and key for me. Uh, I have lost a ton of weight recently. Um. Over 100 pounds in nine months. And <laughs> uh, I went from a 4X going on 5X down to a 2X. Uh, and, uh, I mean, nothing is open. So I can't just go to the store to go get stuff. I guess I could go to Walmart. Uh, and I don't really want to go to Kohl's. Uh, yeah, that that's the... So we're going to look at the DVD first. Because it's like the first thing. Ooh. Bang bang, dude! That is that's like a. Whew. We even talked about it. We talked about Mick Foley being the best of. So it's the best of Cactus Jack in ECW. It's a DVD set. Uh, it's a match of him versus Tommy Dreamer. No punches allowed. Uh, him versus Sabu. Him versus the Sandman. Versus Terry Funk. Versus Hack Myers. Uh, and a triple. Uh, uh, I guess a triple tag match with him, Raven, and Stevie Richards versus the Pitbulls and Tommy Dreamer. So, definitely kind of a cool thing. I don't really watch DVDs much, but man, I, you know what? Any Mick Foley stuff is, is awesome in my book. Uh, we got a pin. This is uh, the villain, Marty Scroll, Also a wrestling figure collector. Very nice looking pin. Obviously, that'll be my very first pro wrestling crate pin. The micro brawler is here. Uh, it is pretty damn awesome. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep it in the packaging. Man, I wish it looked a little bit better, but my my glaring is messing it up. Oh yeah. Oh so, yeah, that super cool. Uh, it'll go nice along the side of my uh, Stomp in Paradise pin. We got a. Cody Rhodes book. Um, looks like a children's book. That is pretty awesome. And it looks like they're gonna just like a series of these books that are coming out. Um, interesting. Looks like a a CM Punk sticker. Definitely somebody I forgot to. Specify. We have man, this is a lot for like just this alone is quite a bit. And then this is the autograph. Uh just these couple of things that seems like so much for what you pay. So I am not gonna look at this. I'm just gonna try to see if I could Okay, so I was looking for the little sticker. There's like a little sticker on these. So we're gonna see who it is. Ooh, it is Adam Page and the hangman himself. Very nice, very cool. Uh Definitely gonna go on an eight by ten or whatever size this is. Gonna hang this on in my gym wall. On a horse. Extremely, extremely cool. 
but we'll take a look at the t-shirts we'll see what kind of uh gear i'm going to be wearing the next couple of months i guess uh <laughs> while this pandemic is going on so this is the elite t-shirt very nice it has like a electric bolt going through it All right, guys, got my eyes closed here. Oh, nice. So, damn it, dude. I read the stupid card, and it tells me what I got. Uh, this is going to be a John Moxley t-shirt. We'll see how it looks. Oof. Sorry, I hit the mic. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Well, that is my... um. So my thoughts on this. So in this box, it came with a John Moxley t-shirt, the Elite t-shirt, a Matt Cardona micro brawler, a Cody Rhodes children's book, Hangman Adam Page 8x10 autograph picture, a Marty Scroll label pen, a CM Punk pipe bomb sticker, and a Mick Foley best of ECW high spots DVD. So is it worth it? I mean, if you think about it, if you go buy Pro Wrestling Crate t-shirts, I think they're $25 just for the, what is it, small through X, XL, and then 2XL, you have to add 350 so it becomes 28 or something like that. This is a great deal. This is a steal. Um, and if, 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 you know, somebody that needs a new wardrobe, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm excited to get next month's, next month in as well. Uh at least until things get back to normal and I can buy t-shirts at the regular store again, uh, I will have things to wear. Uh, like, this shirt is starting to fit kind of big, but... And I just got it, like, two months ago. Hmm. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, amazing, amazing box. I can't wait for the next one. I don't think it tells me what... what oh, yeah, it does. No, oh, no, this is what the contents... Oh, next month's theme or is tag teams it's going to be featuring the brain busters arn anderson and Tolly blanchard edge and christian um the revolt it says the revival in, in uh, parentheses but they are no longer known as the revival the steiners the north crime time damn uh rest in peace to uh shad uh it's you know, and his family, obviously, uh, condolences. Uh, this year has been really weird, that's for sure. Uh, but this this was a great value. Uh, looking forward to next month's crate. Uh, really, really, really well done. Well put together. Definitely, they have a subscriber in me for quite a while. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. I will be doing another unboxing probably on a weekly basis. We'll see. Just depends on how often I get stuff in that would be cool and unique to you guys. Love you guys. Uh, and like I said, if you guys enjoyed the content, uh, I don't know where the subscribe option is for YouTube, but if you could click it, I would appreciate it. Uh, and if you could go follow me, give me a like or whatever on the Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash two eras. Uh, like I said, it would be awesome. We talk wrestling during the stream. Sometimes we even play wrestling games. I don't own WWE 2K20, but, you know, I've been known to play some WrestleMania. I played six or seven classic wrestling games. Uh, <laughs> so, swing on by. Uh, I would enjoy the love. Uh, hopefully, I didn't botch this uh, very first unboxing that that I've ever done on my YouTube channel. But, who knows? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Hopefully, I didn't say um or other things too often. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Uh, see you next time.